In this video, I'm going to talk about the irregularities of the thyroid gland secretions. Thyroid gland is an important gland which maintains the basal metabolic rate of our body. If the thyroid gland secretion, that is thyroxin, is secreted in less amounts, it results in hypothyroidism. And if it is secreted in more amounts, it results in hyperthyroidism. Now let us see some of the symptoms of hypo and hyperthyroidism. Now as I said, thyroid gland is responsible for the basal metabolic rate of our body. So if there is less of thyroid, it results in lethargy and sleepiness. In contrast, if there is more, it results in restlessness and insomnia that is lack of sleep. Apart from that, it affects the heart rate. So hypothyroidism results in bradycardia that is low heart rate and hyperthyroidism results in tachycardia that is increased heart rate. Apart from that, it also affects the body's ability to tolerate heat and cold. So hypothyroidism results in cold intolerance whereas hyperthyroidism results in having more body heat due to high basal metabolic rate so they are heat intolerant. Now in case of hypothyroidism, the person has a decrease in appetite but still shows weight gain. And in contrast, for hyperthyroidism, the person shows weight loss even though the person has a high or increased appetite. Some of the disorders that are related to the hypo and hyperthyroidism. In case of hypothyroidism, during childhood, if thyroxine level decreases, that results in a condition that is called as cretinism. And if there is a decrease in thyroxine levels during adulthood, then it results in a condition that is called as myxodema or Gull's disease. Hyperthyroidism is associated with a disorder that is called as Graves disease or exothalmic goiter. So these are the conditions that are associated with hypo and hyperthyroidism. Now let us see these in detail. So let us first see cretinism. Cretinism results due to decrease in thyroxine levels during childhood. Children suffering from these, this disease or this disorder are called as cretins. Cretins are normally dwarfs. Now the symptoms associated with this are mental retardation as thyroxine is an important hormone for development of the brain. Apart from that, thyroxine also affects skeletal growth. So because of hypothyroidism, the person becomes or shows retarded skeletal growth resulting in dwarfism. They also show dry wrinkled skin, low resistance to diseases, so that is low immunity and a pot belly appearance. Myxodema is the other disorder associated with hypothyroidism. Now this happens in adults. So when thyroxine level decreases, the body retains water resulting in edema. There is mental and physical dullness, degeneration of the sex organs and a disproportionately thick body is seen. Due to deposition of fat, the body, the face gives a puffy appearance. The other disorder associated with thyroid is due to hyperthyroidism that is Graves disease or it's called exothalmic goiter. This is a toxic goiter and the conditions here result in profuse sweating. It shows protruded and wide open eyes. This is called as exophthalmos. Increased BMR is another condition associated and due to this, the body temperature is also high. Apart from this, the person suffers from osteoporosis that is weak bones. Now this is due to excessive loss of calcium and phosphorus from the bones. Now the other disorder associated with the thyroid gland is the Hashimoto's disease. Hashimoto's is an autoimmune disease. Autoimmune disease is a disease where the immune system of the body starts attacking the cells of the body themselves. So in this case, the antibodies that are formed in the body are attacking the thyroid gland. 
now when they start attacking the thyroid gland there is destruction of the thyroid gland which results in the disorder that is hashimotos disease so here there is decrease in thyroxin levels and this is also called as autoimmune thyroiditis or this is also referred to as a disorder which is associated as being the suicide of the thyroid gland